hit that like and hit that um, notification bell. Just a little historical fact for you guys, if you're watching. This trail is the Buckeye Trail, and it loops through 1,400 miles through the state of Ohio. Because, like I say, we was on the Buckeye Trail at Scioto Trail State Park two weeks ago, three weeks ago, mm -hmm. and okay. we was on the Buckeye Trail there. So, and this Buckeye Trail is much better. I mean, we aren't through it yet, but the other Buckeye Trail was almost straight up, and then you'd go almost straight down. So, if you follow our videos, you can look back at the Scioto Trail video and see what the Buckeye Trail looked like in that video. So far, I'm liking this Buckeye Trail. What's that? These trails aren't one way, are they? No. And, I wonder if you can bring your Jeep back here. Was that blocked off up there? Yeah. It was? Okay. Yeah. A lot of times they have, they allow ATV riding back in these places. We'll see. If not, we'll bring the Jeep back. Connie chuckled when I told her I brought my knife in case we had to take on a, a pig or a bear. But you know what? It's not much of a knife, but if I had to take on a pig or a bear, I'd rather have it than have nothing. Wouldn't you? I meant to bring our pepper spray. I have some fox pepper spray that does a pretty good job taking a man out, so I imagine it might take a bear out, or at least deter him long enough for you to get away. Well, I really would not want to tumble down this hill quite a ways down there. We're at a place called now Cedar Falls, a place called Cedar Falls now and that's way down there that's probably a good hundred feet and we're off remember y'all what goes down must come back up We forgot our walking sticks. I lose about 20 pounds this weekend.
Look like a huge snake laying right there, doesn't it? Big old black snake. Rat snake. When I was in my 30s, Melvin Gantz and I would go run the trails at Mohique or uh, Mount Gilead State Park. hole down there. You see that natural hole? Mm -hmm. Right there. Absolutely beautiful. Breathtaking. I can't believe I waited this long to come and view it. This is a one-way trail. It's a busy trail, so they don't want it getting congested by people going both ways. There's our group leader up there, leader of the pack, leader of the pack. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much.
Cedar Falls is the largest waterfall by volume in Hocking Hills State Park. While there are taller and wider falls in the park, Cedar Falls contains more water than its rivals. The water falls approximately 50 feet into a ravine. The gorge's walls consist of blackhand sandstone. Early settlers mistook the hemlock trees for cedar trees and incorrectly named the falls. At the top of the falls, the remains of a gristmill still stand. Early settlers built the structure in the 1830s using the streams to power the mills. We hope you've enjoyed part two of our Hocking Hills trip. Always remember that Camping with Endless Weekends loves you and please remember to love others. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up, subscribe, and please share and we'll see you later. Bye.